okay in this in this section we are going to look at the uh, an identity matrix uh, we're going to look at the an identity uh, matrix so an identity matrix this is actually uh, the matrix that uh, normally have got trading ones it could be one zero 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 one one or zero zero one so zero here so this is uh, actually what is called a three by three matrix and this one is a two by two matrix why is it called two by two because uh, all these matrices are square and they are represented by symbol i so if i say i2 it is an identity matrix of two by two if i say i3 is an identity matrix of three by three so how do we get an identity matrix let's assume our good a is equal to uh, one, two, zero, and one. Now, for this particular A, uh, I can get an inverse of A. An A inverse. A inverse is obtained by getting one over uh, this multiplied by adjoint of A. So, I want you to understand this. Uh, now, to get uh, uh, to get a modulus of a in this case given that maybe a is equal to a b c d like that so modulus of a is equal to bracket a times d minus b times c so it's like that it's like this so it means that uh, if we are to consider this particular matrix that we have this particular matrix then if I quote that one, it means that I'll say 1 times 1 minus 0 times 2. So that in the process, I can get the value as 1. Now let me, for argument's sake, here put 4. So that uh, here it is going to be 4 times 1. So that at the end, I can be able to get a value which is equal to 4. So uh, in this case, I am multiplying this by that minus this by that when it is multiplying so that is called an identity matrix so whereby if i say an adjoint of a as a matrix a an, an adjoint uh, can be obtained by uh, taking one here and four there and the negative is, uh, and the zero there and the negative two there so this one is an adjoint of a is an adjoint of a so uh, you can actually see what I've, do, I've done is I've taken this and I substitute it with that. It's like it's a sintana. And this, yes, sintana is I multiply by negative. So it means that if I have got like 4, 3, 2, 1, then adjoint of that one, adjoint of, let's assume this one is B, adjoint of B, then equal to 1, 4, negative 2, negative 3 negative three so it becomes like that so this is actually uh, the way we define the adjoint so if you take now uh, like in this case uh, that I want to determine the values uh, remember uh, I, I, I had a four and I had a, I had a four so it can be um, uh, one over four multiplied by adjoint of that one so an adjoint of that one is equal to one and is equal to four here and is equal to zero because there is negative and it will be negative two so that when you multiply you can now multiply by a scalar so this particular scalar is going to multiply every value inside so this is by that by that by that by that so at the end of the day you're going to have one over four and the negative two over four and then it is going to be zero then it's going to be 4 over 4. So that at the end of the day, this can simplify to 1 over 4, and then it can be negative half, and then 0, and then 1. So this one, it is actually uh, what is called an A inverse of a function. So take note, an A inverse of a function is obtained by taking 1 over a modulus of A multiplied by adjoint of A. So one thing that you must take note of 
uh, I want to take this uh, part is half negative half is one quarter is one quarter negative half and zero one. So let me uh, delete all and then say uh, a one over four negative one over two zero and one. And then the other matrix it was four uh, two and zero and one. So if you can multiply these two, if you can multiply these two, uh, the value that you can come up with, remember, you can actually have a situation where I was saying that when multiplying the value, you must be able to look at the, uh, the following, where here you can row one column one, row one column two, and row two column one, and the, at the same time, uh, row two column two. So it's like that. So remember, if you have got something like that, you can be able to multiply, and then the multiplying equation will be one over four multiplied by uh, uh, multiplied by uh, four uh, plus um, um, neg plus bracket negative half multiplied by zero. So this is the first one, and the second one it will be um, uh, one over four bracket one over four. Uh, multiplied by a uh, two, and then it will be a uh, plus bracket half multiplied by um, multiplied by one. So this is actually the other value. Then in the second one, you're going to take this one. So it will be zero multiplied by four plus one multiplied by zero, and then in the other one, it will be a uh, zero multiplied by two plus a uh, one multiplied by one. So at the end of the day, you can actually see that this one is a zero, this one is a zero, and here I can actually do it like that, and then this one is a one. So I will have one, and I'll have another one here, because this is a one, okay, and that one is another one. So at the end of the day, I now need to find out what is the value for this point and that point. So here this and that cancel, so this is half minus half so and again this one is what so the answer is yeah is zero so whereby for this one the answer again is what is zero so what we have what we have obtained in this case is a statement which you say if we multiply a times a it's a inverse the answer is an identity matrix so this identity matrix is zero one zero one is one zero zero one so that's actually the way we actually uh, can be able to have so we can now from that particular point we can have a rule and the rule is we can have a rule and the rule is we can have the rule and the rule is if you take a multiplied by a inverse the answer is an identity so uh, the answer is an identity so let's look at how we apply uh, some of the some of these particular rules we have got a uh, like a other rules uh, of uh, transposition transposition other rule of transposition if you say a multiplied by its transpose the answer is equal to a and if you take a plus b uh, multiplied by its transposition then it is the same as A transpose and B transpose. And if you take alpha, which is a scalar, multiplied by B, and then you multiply by its transpose, then it is equal to scalar and the uh, uh, B uh, transpose. And if you take A dot B and the transpose, then you can actually say B transpose and then uh, A transpose. So this is actually the rules pertaining to uh, uh, matrix uh, transposition. So what I want you to do is uh, to try uh, to actually solve some some statements uh, which uh, could be as follows. Um, um, uh, now I will just take a picture of these of these problems and then send you so that you can be able to look at uh, how uh, these ones. Uh, can be uh, can be done. Now the other point that I want us to look at is uh, 
uh, when we have got a, uh, like a, a determinant of a matrix, when we have got a determinant of a matrix, uh, let's assume that I've got matrix A, okay, matrix A, now uh, which matrix A is equal to A, B, C, and D. So uh, determinant of A uh, is the same as modulus of A is the same as A dot uh, D minus B dot C. So this is actually uh, the problem. So the determinant can be given uh, in that in that particular process. So uh, in the next section, we are going to look at the, how the transpose of the matrices are used uh, in context uh, to solve uh, different problems that can be associated with our mathematical uh, statements. So we are going to continue uh, in the next session for the sake of uh, saving that one. Okay, thank you.